Gorgeous Friday afternoon here in West Long Branch, and we are ready for Monmouth Baseball. As this afternoon, the Hawks will host the Temple Owls in non-conference action. Monmouth comes into this afternoon's one nine-inning game at 12 and 20 overall, and six and seven in Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference play. While Temple brings a 12 and 21 mark here at the Monmouth University, they are seven and eight in the American Athletic Conference. As this pitch grounded to first, Avella makes the play. On to second, the tag is in time, and not the most characteristic double play, but effective nonetheless. Bamford leads from first. Breaking ball, driven right into center field. A base hit for Jake Gronsky. It'll be runners on first and second with one away. It's a guy out to a, a pretty decent lead over at first base. Jamarco comes home. This one is grounded right to Gronsky. To Gaida for one. Slow flip, but Gaida turns it anyway. And another double play for him. You gets them out of another inning. We as Hockenberry has two and two to Avella. Comes set. This one topped out into center field. It'll fall for a base hit. Rounding third and scoring the tying run is Steve Wilgus. It's an RBI single for Danny Avella. And we're all square at one. It was Wilgus who had the, uh, the single to the hole at second base. And he goes there again for another base hit. We're seeing a breaking ball on the first pitch. Sweeney. Base hit inside the third base bag. Around third is Wilgus. He will score. Sweeney on his way to second. Going to be a play at this bag, but second baseman can't handle it. And Sweeney is in with a RBI double. Full of runs. He's pitched very well. Breaking ball is lifted. Lamberton, Guida giving chase. Gaida almost collides with Bamford, but he makes the play in shallow left field to retire Temple. We'll host of Hawk Vision crew in here right now as Gaida will line the 0-1 breaking ball in the left field for a leadoff base hit in the seventh. So now it's Robbie Alessandrine who squirts one through the right side. It's a base hit. Scoring is Gaida. Robbie Alessandrine with a go-ahead RBI single with two outs here in the bottom of the seventh gives Mammoth a 3-2 lead. That brings up one of the hottest Hawk hitters in the lineup and right on cue, Craig Sweeney drives one up the middle. It almost goes over the head of Kerrigan in center. 2-1. Driven up the middle. A base hit right on cue for Danny Avella. Alessandrine scores. They'll hold Sweeney at third, but it's an RBI base hit for Danny Avella. Third hit of the game, second run driven in, and the Hawks go on top 4-2. As now Paglione way in front, 1-2. and two. This pitch is topped way high in the air. Alessandrine, bare hand on the first, in time! What a play from Robbie Alessandrine. Kerrigan and Diagostino. This one is driven to Gaida. He'll take it himself. There's the first one. There's the second one. And that is a 4-2 non-conference win for the Mammoth Hawks here on Friday afternoon as they defeat Temple the final time they'll meet here in West Long Branch.